There you are. Ready for that drink? Let's head inside. What is it? There are... a lot of people. I haven't been to a party in some time. I guess I'm... nervous. You just saved an island from descending into total madness. You can handle one drink. <laughs> I guess you're right. Let's go inside. I'm ready for a drink. What about you? Ah. <laughs> hmm. I've always wanted to try meat. Can't be any worse than my first wife. Evo! This been drinking wine, I would have won. Wine? <laughs> That's child's play. Not if it's for Marcos's vineyard. That swill could do paint from a vase. Marcos? Who's Marcos? An old friend that made truly terrible wine. <laughs> Malaga. <laughs> Malaga. You really are drunk. Now you're just spouting nonsense. <laughs> no. No, it's a Greek swear word. It's malaka. 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 That's it. You got it. Now, let me teach the you. The bride and the groom are here. Crashing a wedding? It was arrogant to assume these people were here to celebrate us, saving their asses. Come, let's join in their revelry. Aren't you the heroes who saved the island and our wedding? 
I did a little more than she did. But yes. We would love it if you both gave a toast at our wedding. <laughs> we hardly know you. What would we say? But your exploits have made our wedding a day to remember. Please, regale us with your tale. I could be up for that. What about you, Eivor? All right. But if we're going to do this together, Cassandra, let's make it interesting. What do you suggest? A fighting competition, of course. Ah, never tried it myself. I should warn you, though, I've battled wits with great philosophers. Stop boasting and prove yourself. <clears throat> my day began the strangest way. An axe thrown at my head, tending to slay. There stood Eivor, hot-headed and brash. And there stood Cassandra, looking like an ass. Not too quick on his feet, is he? He took an ambush or two, and one dusty old temple. For Eivor to see that I could be helpful. But somehow I've melted his cold Norse heart. And despite her transgressions, I'll give her a fresh start. I really thought this would be better. Eivor did the heavy lifting, left the tracking job to I. In the end, we triumphed, chasing the nightmares far from sky. And to the bride and groom on this historic day. Hopefully tonight, you'll finally sleep okay. Bit of a lackluster note to end on. Well, that was certainly something. Maybe you two should stick to saving the day and leave the storytelling to the sculpts. It's been a while since I've been the center of attention. How did it feel? Strangely familiar. I'm glad you invited me here tonight. It was nothing. No, really. Thank you. I needed this. More than I knew. What do you say we make that bride's day and get rid of that asshole? Don't you mean that, Malaka? <laughs> Indeed. We actually saved it twice. All in a day's work. Eat it! Did you come for the wedding? I couldn't miss it. My cousin is the bride. And of course, I should thank you. Mm. Clearly, you were able to help my people. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here celebrating. <laughs> I can't take all the credit. I had some help. 
true. Valka put you on this path after all. Was she right, by the way? Did you part ways with that girl? Randvi, as she foresaw? No. Randvi was never on the Isle of Skye. Ah, well. Even Valkar makes mistakes. Still, it's good you didn't need to say goodbye to a friend. What an unforgettable night.
Og nu! Ravn og grif! Novid, you look quite at home in your new shop. I am. I acquired some rather unique items on my travels, offered in exchange for precious Yule tokens. Care to see what we have? Must take my leave. So long. Thank you for this. Whether fur, meat, or bone, we will provide only the finest. And if you intend to go hunting, consider bringing us your kills. We will prepare the hides and heads. Aye. I've been mounting Petra's trophies for years, and she's a discerning woman. In all things. I'll keep that in mind. Enjoy your new home. Eivor, you seem to be someone with a penchant for trophies. I do like victories, but I rarely keep a record of them. Your weapons show the marks of great battles. And you walk with a pride that speaks to your triumphs. Am I wrong? You are not. Why do you ask? To bolster our trade, of course. Wallace is the finest tanner and taxidermist in all of England. If you wish the tales of your hunts to outlast you, there is no better way than making trophies of your kills. If you defeat a rare and worthy creature, bring it to us. We will display it for you. A good idea. Keepsakes to adorn the longhouse. Thank you, Petra. Oh, and before you go, could you spare a moment for a small favor? Go ahead. For the past few evenings, I've heard the howling of a pack of wolves just beyond the border of our woods. Unchecked, they will ravage the wild game in this area. And once the deer are dead, they may turn to us. You feel we should drive them off? I would eliminate them entirely, with your permission, of course. And your help, if possible. A good idea. I will join you now. Good. A pack of wolves is a foolish thing to underestimate. Let's go. This way. I last saw them prowling around just up the hill. You lead. I'll follow. Our settlement is in quite a nice spot. Beautiful terrain, and the animals here are healthy and populous. But wolves are a worry. It may be why the Ragnarsons moved on. Humans upset the balance of nature, and nature pushed back. By attacking us. A wolf will do whatever it takes. They were displaced. Now they come to our door. Come this way.
Look here. Breadcrumbs and crusts. They must have stolen something from Tarbin's store, or off a table somewhere. You saw breadcrumbs from where you stood. They stand out clearly from the soil and grass. See there? Come, this way. Ah, smell that. That's a male wolf, marking his territory, warding off the competition. How do you know it's a male? A different odor. You pick it up. How did you come to be such a skilled tracker? My family were hunters and trackers. From further east than you've ever seen, I imagine. But I've lived in England for most of my life. This is where we found Wallace. You two are siblings, as Sigurd and I are siblings. Bound by honor, not blood. Yes. To hear my mother tell it, we came upon Wallace abandoned. A babe in the woods. We took him in. Look. The wolves made a kill here. They're in the area. Those trails. They must have dragged the poor beast away. We're getting closer. Ah, see those teeth marks on the carcass? They're different. This is the pack's doing, not just one. That's right. Let's go on. So your family found Wallace in the woods. We were traveling through the forest when I spotted a white elk ahead of us. I chased it, hoping to take it down. I lost it as I came to a clearing. And there on the ground was a wee babe, our little Wallace, swaddled and alone. Ah, look at that, the pattern on the grass. They slept here. I'm impressed, Petra. You have a raw skill. You have seen nothing just yet. So, you saw a white elk, and that led you to Wallace. That's right. It felt fated. We took him in and nursed him back to health. I was scarcely more than a toddler myself then. And from that day forward, we were raised as brother and sister. Hmm. These kills are fresh. They're likely near enough to hear us. Probably fled the scene not long ago. I think we found our wolves. You there! Get to cover! Eivor, with me. Let's end this. I'm at your side. That should be all of them. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, both of you. Are you all right? Were those your sheep? They were. God take them. They were all I had in the world. Poor blighters never stood a chance. I lost my cows some months back. Now the sheep are gone. Frowny Jesus, what sort of farmer am I? I'm sorry for your loss. With the wolves gone, you can recover in peace. Not without the blessings of God, I won't. But I shall try. You have your life, farmer. With that alone, you can always rebuild. Ava, hold. I hear something. What? I don't hear... Oh, oh goodness gracious me! Felix! Rosemary! My beauties! You're alive! Come here, my precious angels! 
Well, that worked out. This was grand, Eivor. You hunt almost as well as you fight. Give me a few weeks, I'll learn to track as well as you. Or better. I would be happy to be so humbled. This was a joy, Petra. Do not hesitate to call on me the next time you spot any errant beasts. You were the first on my list, Eivor. See you soon. Damn.